Hello, beautiful people. My name is Vivi. Welcome to Vipsterville. Um, I'm really nervous. This is my first ever YouTube video, so please be kind on the comments. And I really just want to do my introduction to my Panda palette for 2020. I did a Panda palette in 2019, which is on my Instagram. I will link it down below. Um, it didn't go great. I didn't love it. I think it was just the formula was not my favorite. So I'm trying something different with, uh, with the Fantastic Ladies. It's going to be a solitaire kind of style, which means that we're trying to go through as many sets as possible. I've prepared four sets. If I can finish this, I can get more sets, of course. Do I think I'm gonna finish them? Hell no. So we'll we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so the first, um, so the way it works is you start one, uh, one single shadow, then you go to a duo, trio, um, quad, and then you keep going after that. I've prepared a, up to a quad. I, they're all super shock shadows. I really want to finish my super shock shadows. They're cream formula. They're the only kind of cream formula that I have for shadows. Um, aside from this 10, I only have other, four other super shock shadows, which to be quite honest are relatively new. I got them for my birthday, which was October. So they're relatively new. Um, all these other have I've gotten. I've had them since 2017. So I really want to finish them before they go bad, because I have a feeling that they might go bad. Right now, they're still pretty creamy. They work perfectly, haven't had any issues, but they're a cream product. They're likely to go bad faster than not. So let's get started. The first uh, single that I have is the Catnap, which is this shadow right here. I know it looks silver for a second, but it's like a purpley, silvery, kind of lavender color. It's, it's deep, but it isn't. It's like a muted, deep purple. Um, it, it can look bronzy at times. It, it's really cool shadow. It's really hard to explain. Right there, it looks silvery. This is not doing it any justice. Um, my lighting sucks because I don't have lighting really. I'm using my bathroom lights. Don't judge me. So yeah, that's my first. Then I have my duo, which is uh, again ColourPop, um, which is shiny and Heiny, which came in a quad uh, with No Kill LA and Laura Lee and ColourPop again back in 2017. Um, I finished two the other two shades in that quad, but these are the only two left. It's like a maroon color. Uh, this is more like a pinky bronze. Um, don't know that that's gonna do anything, but here it is. I have Hit Pan already on Shiny, which is this one right here. Um, the mattes are definitely harder to pan than the metallics. Just putting that out there. <laughs> So the fact that I already have pounded, that's huge, 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 huge. That's gonna be very helpful. Um, then I have my little trio right here, which is Fade In, um, Sprinkle Me, and Cheap Date. So Fade In is, again, another matte. It's like an orangey, like a burnt orange, slightly deeper. I like it. Um, it's really easy to just put it all over the lid and just buff it out. And if you're on the run, pretty easy shadow. And then I also have here Sprinkle Me, which is just kind of like a, it's hard to explain, but it's like an orangey gold bronze, if that makes any sense. It's really pretty. If I these two pair together beautifully, so it'll be easy to work with. And then I have cheap date which i am very disappointed that i have a hit pan on this shadow i put it in a project pan in the summer of 27 2019 and i was really trying to like hit pan on it i couldn't but it's really worn down i don't know if you can see that on the sides and pretty evenly worn down this one's gonna be really easy to hit pan on and it's too but i can finish it quickly i don't know but you know what it's there um so yeah, that's my trio right here. There you go. And if you don't know, you always want to make sure to close these because they, they they do dry out. Again, they're cream products, so I always make sure that I'm closing them up. That's why I'm. I you haven't really seen me. You haven't really seen me take them out for long periods of time, and I don't want to leave them open the whole time because they might dry out. So yeah, they're old. <laughs> Uh, next, I have the shade Set to Stun, which I've already hit pan on it. But it's a very bright purpley. It, the lighting here does not give it any justice. Justice. It's very, very, very bright 
purple mauve kind of shade. Uh, but again, I did hit pan on it already. Not sure if you can see that there because it kind of looks like a sparkle, but it's not. Just a tiny little baby pan. There you go. So there's that. Um, in the quad, I also have the shade Paradox, which is this very cranberry. Um, this, out of all my Super Shop shadows, is the one that I've probably used the less. It's very intimidating color. It is very bright, very potent. You do not need a lot to make this really work for you. Um, but it's very, very pretty. But yeah, this very nice little berry color. And then I have a maze, which is a, it's just a glitter bronze, plain and simple glitter bronze, easy to use, easy to pair with other things. Yeah. <laughs> what is. And then I have the shade Super Hardcore, which honestly, I have Lunch Money, the Super Shock uh, highlighter. And this is almost the exact same thing. <laughs> it's a satin, it's like paralyzed, it's not really shimmery or glittery, but it does have like a bit of a sheen to it. it it's it's so interesting. Um, it's like almost like a frost. But anyway, that's part of my quad. So that's it. I have my single that I'm going to be working on first. Once I finish this, I'll move on to my duo right over here. Then I have my trio that's right over here. It's a very warm tone trio. I figured, I don't know, it'd be easy to use. And then lastly, I figured at that time it would be a little bit more Christmassy and those berry tones will be easier to use. So that's where my quad comes in. This is more purpley berry tones. And then have this simple colors that will be easy to use. So it's like the bronze and that shimmery frost. I don't know what to call it, but... It's really pretty. I, I think I'm probably going to use this one throughout the entire year to like uh, eyebrow um, highlight and then like inside the inner corner just to brighten it up. So I do plan on using these the whole time or at least this one the whole time just because I use a little of it. If I leave it till the end, I will not finish it. But all of the other ones, I do want to do it as a set. If I get to the finish, that'll be amazing because I really want to finish all the super sharp shadows. I don't want them to go bad. It's a really cool formula. I think it's highly underrated, but it can be a little more difficult to work with. So yeah, that is my introduction to the Pan That Palette. I... That's, that's really it. <laughs> I don't know how to end this because it's my first YouTube video ever. So I'm pretty nervous. Not sure if you can tell. If you can, don't be mean in the comments. That's all I gotta say. Don't be mean in the comments. But yeah, I'll be updating you guys on Catnap. And if I happen to hit pan on any other ones, I'll let you know. Thank you for watching, and I hope you subscribe, like this, this video. Thank you.